Well, thanks for joining me this morning, sir. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Joe. I was just mentioning, we were chatting before we went on. Uh, the Shifa Med presence over here is uh, loud and proud. I love it. No, we, we've been growing nice and steadily over the last few years. And that growth allows us to be here uh, and then display our uh, growth and progress uh, in a uh, form of a booth that allows us to bring together our physicians and our industry partners. Where's Superior right now? Well, so first of all, for our audience, let's, let's describe what Superior is and what it's going to accomplish. Supera is one of the more mature portfolio company within Shifa Med. Uh, we are six years old. Uh, we started the company with an objective to develop the next generation percutaneous ventricular assist device, also called catheter pump. The incumbent today is uh, Abiomed uh, with their Impella family of product. Uh, we are offering one product that can provide all of the treatment option that the family of Impella products offer. The way we are going to do that is offer the uh, Impella substitute uh, in a lower profile and a higher flow. Having a lower profile reduces the access side complication, expands the applicability to broader patient population, and higher hemodynamic support makes the patient feel uh, better that much faster. So the Supera's value proposition is really very simple. Make the pump smaller and increase the flow as you make the pump smaller. We are a clinical stage company, Joe. Uh, we have been treating the patient in our uh, overseas OUS feasibility study. Uh, we have 53 patients in that study. We are presenting the 50 patient data today, this afternoon, uh, with a 30-day follow-up. And the results look very promising. That prepared us to start our US clinical studies very soon. So that is an incredible market opportunity. And in classic Shifa Med sort of playbook, Let's look at a market that's enormous. Let's look at a market that there was a first mover there who may have created a market, see where their strengths are, and maybe where there are gaps we can incorporate into the product or the workflow, and then create such a beachhead that nobody's going to want to follow us, right? That's a classic Amur playbook, and it sounds like right now Superior is on that pathway. Yeah, Supera is the poster child of that uh, Shifa Med philosophy of a fa fast follower, uh, as well as using the latest and greatest technology to offer the next generation solution. You know, Abiomed created the market, you know, uh, credit goes to them. Uh, now that the first generation products have brought us this far, it's time, like it happens in cardiovascular uh, industry, to come up with the next generation and take that therapy to the next level. So in a classic Shifa Med fashion, we go into a therapy space uh, that's been established. Uh, however, there is room for improvement in terms of next generation technology, and that's what Supera is doing. Uh, we are uh, going to leverage and build upon all the clinical success that we have been through this clinical space, and now uh, give a next generation solution. Shifa Med is a technology domain expertise. We know nitinol, we know catheters, we know, you know cardiovascular systems and the boundary conditions. So we take all of that know-how and take some of the technologically more challenging problems to solve. And here we are uh, in six years journey. We finished our preclinical testing. We reported our first in human two years ago at TCT. And since then, we continue treating more and more patient with now total 67 patient experience. That prepared us very well to initiate our US studies and just sell through those studies. And you and I have been around the heart failure space for decades. Um, it looks like heart failure is really getting a stronghold on the therapeutic side right now. Uh, and I put Superior in that heart failure space, if you will. Some people may not, I tend to. What do, what's your outlook for that market at large over the next few years? A good question. When we started Supera really six years ago, we started with heart failure as a domain. When we picked the design platform, when we selected the components, those became part of the product, we kept the total heart failure patient population in mind. Typically, our product has two indications. First indication is for the high-risk PCI patient, and the second indication is cardiogenic shock, i.e. heart failure patient. The difference between these two uh, indication or patient population is really the duration of support provided to the patient from few hours to few days, and the amount of hemodynamic support, the flow. So having a higher flow, having ability to run the pump for several days at a time, 
allows us to really uh, cater to the entire spectrum of the patient population from high risk PCI all the way to cardiogenic shock, i.e. heart failure. And this, this type of product fits in the portfolio of many of the high growth companies right now, correct? That's correct. So many, uh, the usual suspect those play in the space, you know, cardiology or cardiovascular greater space, uh, all of those will need product like Supera in their uh, portfolio. So we've got data coming out later today, which will be exciting for sure. What's over the next 12 to 24 months for Sapira? Yeah, next uh, 12, 24 months will be heavily, heavily uh, dominated by our clinical progress and along with that regulatory progress. So we are looking forward to continue uh, generating more clinical data in our OUS studies, as well as get our US study started very soon, as I mentioned. Along with that, we are looking forward to also go to first in human for that cardiogenic shock or heart failure uh, side of the patient population. Today, all of our clinical experience is for the high-risk PCI patient, and that's the market established today. Cardiogenic shock, heart failure market is the, the future potential market. So we are going to uh, go after both indication as we get uh, our progress done through OUS and US studies on high-risk PCI, we'll go for uh, first in human patient for cardiogenic shock also, and then keep walking that journey. And with all that clinical effort, um, what does fundraising look like over the next 12, 24, 36 months? Is there an opportunity for those that are considering getting into this market to partake in that? Great question. Yeah, we have been very blessed with uh, you know, our investors' support to date. Uh, that brought us this far. But of course, you know, to run these clinical studies, uh, we'll be raising the next round. In fact, we are actively raising the next round. And uh, the response is very encouraging so far with the clinical data that we have with the FDA uh, response that we have received so far. Uh, the uh, outlook is very promising, and the investors as well as the strategic stakeholders are watching Supera very closely. So I'm looking forward to uh, announcing that uh, in uh, news in the near future. Excellent, well, I'm thankful for Supera, for the medtech industry, and of course the patients, and I always appreciate you sharing where we are with the organization right now. No, Joe, uh, you and I are blessed to get to uh, you know, make our career in this medical device space. It's a two and a half, three decades of journey, and it's not a job for you and I, it's a passion. That's right, I agree 100%. Couldn't have said it better. Thank you, my friend. Always. I'm Joe Mullings from the floor at TCT 2024. Be well.